Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remotely turn on your flex radio. You may be asking, why would I want to do this? Well, it's because if you're away from your station and, for example, like on vacation, and you have a power failure at your QTH where your flex radio is located, it's going to shut it off. And when the power comes back on, you'll, your radio will still remain off. So the only way to turn it on is you need to call somebody to get in, come into your house and push that power button right there on the Flex 8600. Um, what, that's what I have. And you'll be able to uh, turn that on. Let me show you my method of turning on my Flex 8600 via remote control. Now the Flex website does sell this as a, a kit but I decided to purchase each one individually. So this is the MH Cozy, model number TYWB. It's a four channel RF switch. It's so tiny. It's, well, when I say tiny, it's about the same size of a mouse. So there you have a mouse right there. It's my Logitech mouse. I know it's black. And it's about the same size as the um, here CW here this is how the unit gets its power it takes an input between 7 through 32 volts you can use a USB connection this is not a USB C by the way it's a micro USB I think that's what they call it but this is how I have it set up I put uh, the positive wire the negative wire attached here and let me show you that on my radio not well it's not connected to the radio so there it is that's the positive and negative wires and it's running to to my power works right here it's actually connected to the back that wire back there these two wires right these two I mean I mean you can connect it to a power pole and actually use it but I'm using the front two of my power works power supply for the LP100 and my monitor so that's my monitor there and my LP100 now how many of you have these laying around the house in your uh, drawer box of wires yeah these are RCA cables and what I did was I got to one end of these and I cut it off and I spliced it so one end will be the RCA and the other end would be this here these are tiny I got it spliced see there the red and the bare copper wire and that's connected to the top left so on the top left you put the wires in there okay I put one wire on the uh, C O M com that's called common and then the other wire to the NO which stands for normally open I think so those are the only two that you're using the NC we're not using that NC port make sure you have the correct polarities positive and negative
Now for the common and the normally open, we're going to connect these. These wires are so fragile, these are really thin. It doesn't matter which one goes to which, as long as you use the uh, common and the uh, normally open. Just gonna double check that it's nice and snug. Okay. And that's it for setting this connections, the power and the trigger. I call that the trigger. All right, um, while you're on your flex radio, go on the uh, top left corner and click on settings. And under the radio tab, you need to remote on make sure that's enabled so that that port that rca port will be um, active the app that you need to download is called tuya smart app i have an android but it's also the same for an apple so once you download it create a username password and uh, sign on to your your 2.4 gigabytes a Wi-Fi network and once that, that's all configured you can open it up and that's my Jacksonville ham shack control and there it is you can change each of those buttons like this one says flex 8600 the others the other one says switch 2 and then you got switch 3 and switch 4 in order to change those, you press and hold, and now you're able to manipulate or modify or edit the uh, title for those buttons. So it's currently um, powered up. What I'm saying is powered up is my Wi-Fi switch. Okay. Here's the 8600. It has the normal 13.8 volts running to it for its main power I'm going to now press the on button and you see that the on and off button is flashing and it's loading up Now we hear the fans running. Now we have a, uh, well, I'm, I'm waiting for the uh, steady green button. There it is. Now it's steady on. So that means now I can come to my application and start the SDR. There it is. A lot of noise there, right? That's because um, I'm washing clothes right now. It's actually the dryer. You can see it. So now if you're operating at the hotel like I normally do, when I'm flying airplanes, I, I go to different hotels, I can turn off the radio by pushing that button remotely and now it's shutting down. That is the correct time. It's 10 o'clock at night. I got to go to work tomorrow in DFW. That's it. It shut down. 
All right, now I'm all set. I can feel comfortable. In the event if I have a power failure, I'm able to turn on my radio remotely. So if you didn't have this and you had a power failure, there would be no way you can turn on your radio unless you had somebody at the house that can push that power on button. So there are some talks on the forums or when you do a search on Google that uh, some of the guys will short out that RCA plug. I don't know if it works or not, but uh, I'm gonna do it this way. So I know that it, it's safe and it works and I just proved it to you, uh, it works. So I wanna leave the link for that Wi-Fi switch below and in my description and also the tool that I run or that I use, I use that for my computers and for my screwdrivers it's great to have because you can use that to open up your radios and uh, computers and so forth. So thanks for watching. My name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. And if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment. Let me know how you like my videos. I'll see you on the next video, 73s, and have a great evening. It's 10 o'clock at night.